You know, when the world shut down, so did kids sports. Restrictions are lifting though now, but apparently families aren't necessarily rushing to the fields to play. Pediatric sports medicine specialist at Scripps Clinic, Dr. Paul Stricker, joining us here live this morning to discuss this. Thanks so much for being here, doctor. Uh, thanks for having me. Let's start with the safety, okay? Our, our low COVID transmission levels right now here, we're kind of coming out of this pandemic. Is it safe for kids to play community organized sports right now? Yeah, we think it's really becoming a much better situation for them to be safe and to be out there and be able to come together and start to train and practice without necessarily having to mask up. And so, uh, as usual, good hygiene, washing their hands, all those things are still important. Don't share water bottles. But, yes, we'd love for them to be starting to get active and be with their friends. Yeah, as a coach uh, for hockey and baseball, I make sure that uh, the water bottles are all separated and everything. The coaches do their part. The kids are doing their part for, as well. Uh, let's talk about the parents. Um, let's remind them um, of some of the advantages of sports. I mean, I know um, it's really important to kids' mental, physical health, right? Especially now as we're kind of coming out of this pandemic. Yeah, it's, it's always important, but even especially now after a lot of times uh, kids during the pandemic, many of them didn't do anything. Uh, so yes, we know that they get muscle strength and <clears throat> build their cardiovascular fitness and certainly get coordination and learn how to work together as a team to develop a strategy and to learn coaching and to, to build teamwork. Uh, but they also build confidence and self-esteem and the ability to be disciplined and learn resilience. So it's really important. Yeah, growing up, uh, I know you were a, a former swimmer um, a, a, a really solid athlete. So you learned things from sports. I learned things from sports that we use every day. So, so, so important to participate in, in, in youth sports. But that participation, I was surprised to, real, to, to hear this, it's really fallen in recent years, right? Why are those participation levels so far down now? Yeah, it's interesting. There's a couple studies, you know, one pre-pandemic that showed that kids were really uh, declining in team sports participation. And then uh, we have some more recent numbers kind of near post pandemic that, that show that kids are not even flocking back to team sports. And so when we look at those, I think it's kind of uh, fascinating, but interesting to look at it in two of the, those two different camps, you know, the, the pre pandemic, some of the reasons uh, that we saw most commonly, especially here at Scripps was that kids were just, you know, not having fun anymore, or they weren't being able to, you know, they were sitting on the bench too much. Um, and they just experienced way too much pressure to win and uh, get a scholarship. And they, they felt like, you know, it was a too much time commitment and, and sometimes too much financial uh, commitment as well. Interestingly, here in the near post pandemic, some of what we're seeing is that kids are not flocking back to team sports because during the pandemic, a lot of them had all this excessive free time uh, and they discovered that, you know, they liked to go hiking uh, or ride their bikes or go for long walks. And, um, and so they still learned ways to be active uh, and exercise, uh, but that they learned that they really didn't miss all that time commitment and all the pressure. So there's different ways to look at this. But what are they missing out that sports would bring to that instead of just, you know, biking on their own? I mean, we love that they're exercising, period. You know, it's great that they're active. So if they, if they want to go ride their bike, that's great. Uh, some kids, though, they just really need that socialization. They need to be part of... Uh, a, a group purpose, so to speak. And so they really uh, get benefit from being able to be with their friends, but also be part of something that's, you know, that's bigger than them, that they feel like they can actually contribute um, and, and do something that is powerful for them. Yeah, you can get a lot of that socialization in other youth clubs too, you know, chess club, math club, other things too. Uh, but the physicality and getting that uh, exercise is so beneficial for kids. And, and not just one sport either, because I, you, you talked about how kids ride in the bench or not um, feeling good about their sport. And maybe it's because so many parents are pushing kids into just one sport. I've talked to professional athletes, sports physicians who say it's actually good to have more than one sport that kids are involved in, right? Yeah, thank you so much for bringing that up. Uh, it's really important because, you know, one of the most common overuse injury reasons is because kids specialize too soon or they're just doing too much of one thing over and over. Um, so, yes, our, our guidelines always recommend that, that kids be exposed to multiple different activities uh, to really lay down a tremendous foundation of sports skill development so that then they can apply that later on when they do decide to specialize into something more specific. Last thing, Doctor. Um talk about parents right now that are watching this that say you know what I, I, I do need to get my kid more involved in sports or um, the kids are giving potential pushback on you know wanting to get back into it you know, post pandemic what kind of conversation should the parents be having 
I think these conversations are things that are new to us. You know, post pandemic, it's really a great opportunity for us to have a, a re a relook, you know, a refocus, a, a reevaluation of of what we want out of things. I think a lot of us during the pandemic started to evaluate what things mattered the most to us, and so being able to get the child to active again is really important. But but to view it as you know, how can we as a family uh, support this child and what the child really wants out of this sport participation because some of them may be hesitating to go back in because of all the pressure to win and that kind of thing. Uh, so if they know that they're supported um, from their family, that it's okay to just be active and be part of the team and get the, the wonderful health benefits, uh, I think that will ease a lot of the pressure on some of these kids going forward. Dr. Stricker, where can people learn more? Where can parents go to? Uh, well, there's uh, options. The American Academy of Pediatrics, aap.org, is a great resource. Of course, scripts.org. Um, I'm happy to see new patients all the time. It's, it's a, very delightful for me. So uh, anything we can do to help support how kids develop their skills and, and be active, uh, we'll do our best. Dr. Stricker, thanks so much for your time here this morning. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you.